After a devastating week for Southwest, this morning the airline says it's finally ready to take flight. Back to normal operations, executives promise planning to fly some 4,000 flights today. All of it on the heels of an unprecedented week that left more than 15,000 flights grounded and thousands of passengers stranded. Every flight was overbooked. Now, after the meltdown, comes the makeup, with Southwest promising to return lost luggage to passengers, shipping bags for free, even flying them on their own planes, and setting up a special website for passengers to submit receipts to get reimbursed for hotels, food, and rental cars while stranded. It's something Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg promised to enforce. We are going to be putting Southwest Airlines under a microscope in terms of their delivering these kinds of reimbursements and refunds to passengers. In a scathing new letter to the airline CEO, Buttigieg lays out priorities for the airline to its customers, from paying $3,800 to each passenger with provable damages from lost luggage to repaying the cost of flights booked on other airlines. Buttigieg says his department will use the fullest extent of its investigative and enforcement powers to hold Southwest accountable. The airline said to me that they were going to go above and beyond what's required of them. Uh, I'm looking to make sure they actually do that. And if they don't, uh, we are in a position to levy tens of thousands of dollars per violation per passenger in fines. Does your department share any blame in this, sir? Should you have seen this coming? We have taken every step to increase the standard of customer service right now. Uh, now, I can't go in and fix an IT system for an individual airline that is failing to do its job, uh, but as a watchdog, our department is going to do everything it takes to hold them accountable. And guys, you heard him talk about the systems there. That was one of the biggest issues with this entire debacle, a massive slowdown in the system that handles employee schedules. Well, the airline says that now they've set up what they're calling a volunteer army, more than a thousand employees ready to step in and schedule employees manually if necessary. Peter. Yeah, a lot of passengers waiting for this day to finally come. Blaine, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.